Next City wasn't founded by any big media company. It wasn't an idea for selling ads or making money. It started with an email. Dear friends, for a while I have been thinking about starting a new magazine about the future of American cities. Adam Chris Gordon Brown. and two college friends, Anika Singh Lamar and Seth Brown, proposed the next American city. In the middle of a New York snowstorm, hundreds packed a standing room only panel discussion for the magazine's debut. Good evening, my name is Adam Gordon. I'm the editor-in-chief of The Next American City, a new magazine about the future of American cities and suburbs that's here to sponsor tonight's panel and to release our first issue, which many of you have in your hands. The New York Times caught wind of that nonprofit magazine working to change cities and wrote an article. Suddenly, they had more than 1,000 subscribers. The volunteers published issue after issue until the Cerdna Foundation became their very first philanthropic funder, leading to many more funders. 2006, the first full-time staff is hired. The magazine gets its first offices at University of Pennsylvania in Philadelphia. Things take off. The magazine would reach more than one million people over the course of its 31 printed issues. 2009, in Washington, D.C., Next City founds the annual Vanguard Conference. Today, there are over 400 vanguards working for change around the world. Nearly 40,000 people subscribe to Next City's email newsletters. Another 150,000 follow Next City on social media. Next City, with the support of thousands of individual donors, now reaches 2 million readers every year at nextcity.org. It turns out there are a lot of people who care about finding solutions for cities. Fifteen years ago, Adam Gordon concluded that original email to friends with a quote. They always say that time changes things, but actually, you have to change them yourself.